for meeting me here today, Chris. It's good to be here. Yeah. So tell me about who you are and what do you do? I like to say like I'm an artist and an educator. I like to draw, I like to read comics. Um, I spent a, a considerable time in the 80s, you know, collecting about 450 comics. I didn't kind of know what I was going to do when I got into uh, undergraduate and um, I decided I was going to major in art because I took this drawing for non-art majors class and I drew a picture of a uh, cow bone and I looked at it in my room and I said, hey that's not bad, I think I'll major in art. So that's kind of how I decided. What got you interested in actually going into this field and comics and stuff? I think it, it must have been like middle school when I kept, I watched a lot of anime because my mom loved that sort of stuff. I thought, I can draw that and I can make a story like that. And even though I couldn't, it was really fun to try. I like to watch media and get invested and relate to the characters and I want to provide that to other people. I've been always intrigued with the concept of like how people are getting into characters and you know like <clears throat> what do you think that that value is to you like I think watching things helps me better understand other people because you can see behind the scenes of a person you wouldn't normally be able to see so you can see like the humanity in everyone okay and so like characters are this means of seeing stuff that we may not be able to see like in the people yeah. around us but then like by seeing it in the character that can help us then see it in someone else who's actually real or even in ourselves, maybe. Because we're the main characters of our own life, but in a TV show, anyone can be the main character and it's probably not someone that looks like you. So I can, yeah. I can understand other people better. It's really helpful. Um, so tell me a little bit about your high school experience. I mean, you mentioned a little bit like in middle school, you kind of got into that, but was there any certain point where you kind of decided, yes, I'm, I'm going to go into this direction in art, you know? Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of the other artists I'm friends with are like, I've just always been drawing, it just never stopped. But honestly, it, it started more when I was about 12 to 14. Um, I didn't draw as a kid, and then I, I realized like, I could do this on the side of my other career, probably in science or something. And I thought about, well, this is actually what I want to do more. So I wonder how I can make stories and writing and drawing the main thing. As you're making this journey, oh, there's going to be a lot of times that you're going to be the only one who's believing in what you're doing and standing by it. And it may seem kind of like scary, but at the same time, just don't give up on that. Stay persistent. That's the best thing I can say is just, and just keep believing in yourself. Just keep that belief. Thank you so much for, for talking with me here today. I really appreciate it. Well, that was great coming. Thank you.